my students and welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. Okay, we have here for example, find the sum and product of the roots of the following. So we have here the formula for the sum. So for the sum, we have the root sub 1 plus the root sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. And then for the product, we have our root sub 1 times the root sub 2 is equal to c over a. Okay, so for number 1, we have the x squared plus 5x plus c is equal to 0. First, what we're going to do is just to identify the a, b, and c. Okay, so our a, b, and c. Our a here is 1, our b is 5, and c is 6. Next step is to factor the x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. So it will become the factors of x squared is x times x. Alright? So next, the factors of 6 is, think of a two number. If you multiply, the answer is 6. And then if you add them, the answer is 5. So we have 3 and 2. Because 3 times 2 is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. So positive positive. Next, equate this into 0. So, x plus 3 equal to 0. x plus 2 is also equal to 0. Okay, next, transpose 3 to the right. So, it will become x equals negative 3. So, this is our root sub 1. Next, transpose 2, positive 2 to the right. So, it will become x equals negative 2. Okay, so this is our root sub 2. Next, to find the sum, so let's, uh, let's find the sum of the roots. So, we have negative 3 plus negative 2. So, negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Okay? So, that is our sum. And then, our product. So, we have negative 3 times negative 2. So, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. So, that is our product. But, we have the technique to find the sum and product of the roots by using the formula. Okay? So, our formula for the sum is negative b over a and then for the product, we have c over a. Okay? Without factoring the equation, the quadratic equation, so we can now um, answer or we can now find the sum and product of the quadratic equation. Okay? So, let's just um, find the sum. So, for the sum, so we have negative b over a. So, what is our b? So, our b is 5. So, we have negative 5 over what is a? a is 1. So, next, negative 5 divided by 1 is negative 5. Okay, we have the same answer as this one. Um, this is the technique to find the sum and product of our quadratic equation. Okay, by using this formula. Well, let's try for the product. So, for the product... We have C over A. So, our C is 6 over A is 1. Alright? So, 6 divided by 1 is 6. So, our product is 6. It's also the same with this 1. Okay? This is the technique to find the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. Okay, we will not use the the factoring anymore since you know how to answer or you know how to solve it already so by using the formula so let's just find the a b and c so our a here is one our b is negative one and our c is negative twelve okay so now let's um, substitute the body of a b c to the formula so for the sum we have negative b over a. So, we have here negative, since our b is negative 1, so it's like this, over a, our a is 1. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1 over 1. So, 1 divided by 1 is 1. So, the sum of our roots in x squared minus x minus 12 is 1. Next, the for the product, so, we have C over A. Since our C here is negative 12 over 
So, our A is 1. So, 1 here. So, negative 12 divided by 1 is negative 12. So, the product of the roots in our quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 12 is negative 12. In number 3, we have here 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, again, find the value of A, B, and C. So, the value of A here is 2. Our B is 6. And then our C is negative 2. Now, substitute the by DC to the formula for the sum. Okay? So, we have negative B over A. So, our B is negative. So, 6 over our A is 2. So, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So, for the sum, okay, the sum of the roots of our equation 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 equal to 0 is negative 3. Now, for the product, so we have c over a. So, our c here is negative 2 and then a is 2. Now, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So, the product of the roots of our quadratic equation 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 is negative 1. Okay, for number 4, we have x squared plus 4 equal to 0. So, uh, as you can see here, we don't have b. Well, let's solve it to find the sum and product of this quadratic equation. So, first, let's define the a, b, and c. So, what is a? So, our a is 1. And then our b, we don't have b here because we don't have the x. Okay, we don't have x here. So we have 0. And then c is 4. Right? Next is to substitute the value of a, b, c to the formula. So for the sum, again, so we have negative b over a. So our b is 0. So we have negative 0 over what is a? a is 1. So, negative 0 divided by 1 is 0. So, for the sum of the roots of our quadratic equation x squared plus 4 is 0. Next is for the product. So, for the product, we have c over a. So, our c here is 4 and then our a is 1. So, 4 divided by 1 is 4. So, the product of the roots of x squared plus 4 is 4. For number 5, for the last example, we have x squared plus 8x equals negative 15. So, our c is on the right side. Okay? First thing to do is just to write it in a standard form. So, we will transpose negative 15 to the left. So, it will become x squared plus 8x plus 15. Okay? So, negative 15 will become positive 15 equals 0. Next, let's find the A, B, and C. So, our A here is 1, our B is 8, and then our C is 15. Now, let's substitute the value of A, B, C to the formula. So, for this sum, we have um, negative B over A. So, our B here is negative 8 over a is 1. So, negative 8 divided by 1 is negative 8. So, the sum of, of our equation x squared plus 8x plus 15 is negative 8. So, for the product, we have c over a. Okay? So, our c is 15 and then our a is 1. So, 15 divided by 1 is 15. So, for the sum of the roots of our equation x squared plus 8x plus 15 is 15. That's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!